Help us file 2360, a bill for an act relating to special school district number one, Minneapolis. Secretary will take the roll. Uh, Senator Han. Thank you, Madam President. I have a question for um, the author. Um, I'm just looking at the language in the bill. Um, is with respect to the redistricting standards, uh, 2.12 and 2.13, and the concern I have, uh, Senator Torsray, is that the language says that where a concentration of a racial or language minority makes it possible, the districts must increase the probability that members of the minority will be elected. And I'm concerned about putting into statute that we want to make sure that an election comes out in a certain way. And I, I, I'm not sure, I understand what, what the intent is, but I think that language is, it's, to me it sends a very negative signal to the people of the state of Minnesota that we as a legislature are, are in the business of trying to determine the outcome of an election. And I'm just wondering whether or not uh, that was the intent. Apparently there's no response, Senator Han. And Madam, Senator Han. Madam, then, uh, members, I, I have a question about this, and I, I think we ought to consider this. We're, we're putting into statute that uh, we have to have a structure that, that uh, would increase the probability of certain people will be elected. I'm not aware of any other statute in law that makes this kind of a, of a statement. And I'm not certain that that's something that is very wise. And so I, I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, uh, not sure that this is the right way to do this. Senator Han, I, I do understand that you are concerned perhaps about um, the possibility of giving minorities a representation in the political process. I am not. President and Senator Torres-Ray, I did not make any statement to say I wanted to see anybody denied representation, minority or otherwise, and I frankly uh, resent the in inference that I did say that. But what I am concerned about is in the course of this bill, it does say in law that the districts have to structure them so that it increases the probability that some people will be elected rather than others. And I don't think that is the right mechanism to do this. I think it's, it makes some assumptions that I think are objectively false. I think it sets a very bad precedent in election law that we're going to decide as a legislature what, what kind of representation we want by making sure the districts are drawn to favor one group or one uh, section rather than another. I, I think this is not the right way to do this. And so I'm just uh, raising the issue. It has nothing to do with representing uh, children. It has nothing to do with the school board doing a good job of trying to represent the members of its community. I think it has everything to do with putting in law that we are going to mandate that the districts be drawn so that there is a, and this is the quote, it must increase the probability that members of the minority will be elected. I think that kind of language is not correct, and we should not put that into statute. All senators having voted, the secretary will close the roll. There being 41 ayes and 26 nays. The bill is passed and it's titled agreed to. 